Hi, I'm Genevieve Frederick, founder and president of Feeding Pets of the Homeless. We're here today at a local food bank where we're having a wellness clinic where people can bring their animals in to get vaccinated, have an exam, get a spay and neuter voucher, and get a dog license for this city. All of the doctors are volunteering their time and most of them have gotten their vaccinations from their medical reps and they most of the time donate them. But we're happy to pick up any of the other hard costs that are involved with helping the community be safe. Since we started in 2008, so 15 years, we have provided sponsorship to wellness clinics across the country that have seen over 27,000 pets. Without our volunteers and the doctors that volunteer their time, we wouldn't be able to do this. Many of our volunteers find us on the internet, as do most people that uh, contact us from around the country. Uh, volunteers that are here today, some of them are from my staff, some of them are from the community, and some are from out of the country. And they want to know what we do in America so they can take it back to their country. Hi, my name is Regina. I come from Indonesia. I've been in Carson for a month and I'll be flying back to my country soon. So before leaving to my country, I would like to contribute my energy, my time to help other people, especially those in need. And I really love pet, that's why I'm here. I found out feeding pet for a homeless through internet because I love Carson so much. I want to make something. Uh, I want to give my contribution contribution to the, to the community before I'm leaving back because I feel that there is no better feeling than helping others and it's the best feeling that you know I can experience here and I think even though I cannot do a lot of things I cannot do everything at least I get the chance to do something small small things but has the big impact for our community so thank you so much for the opportunity I hope I can see more people more young people to involve in this kind of project thank you feeding pet for homeless I'm Dr. Mike Pulver from Timberline Animal Hospital here in Carson City. We're here at the Pets of the Homeless Wellness Clinic. This is a yearly clinic we do here at Fish, basically to help out uh, needy folks in the community with their pets and getting exams done, vaccination. We have boost or vouchers from Cassie for these folks to get their pets spayed and neutered. And we basically just go through each one, try to address any health concerns they have with their pets, and make sure we have them healthy and vaccinated and spayed and neutered as best we can. It's a, it's a nice day for us. People are really nice and really appreciative of what we do, and, and we like coming here. So yeah, that's basically it. Hi, my name is Maddie Von Ozen. I'm a volunteer here at Pets of the Homeless, and I'm out here helping out animals and their owners makes me really happy seeing um, how appreciative owners are for their animals and getting to talk to them and their animals, pet them. 
It's awesome. I think Pets of the Homeless is a great organization that's done great things and continues to do great things. I'm Dr. David Kowalik. I'm a veterinarian at Riverside Vet Hospital out in Dayton. Um, today we're here at Friends and Service Helping in Carson City doing a wellness clinic with Feeding Pets of the Homeless. We've got some of our staff here today, lots of volunteers, and we're getting to perform wellness exams, um, offer vaccinations. We're here with a partner group, Carson Animal Services Initiative, and they're getting to hand out some free spay-neuter vouchers. And Carson City Animal Services is here as well, uh, doing dog licensing. So it's great that all these groups are able to come together and provide care for folks who can't otherwise access that. This is probably the fifth or sixth year that we've gotten to participate, and it's really special to, as a veterinarian in the community, get to see people that we don't otherwise see and get to see them kind of consistently year after year with their dogs and cats who they very clearly care deeply for.